Hey, how's it going my fine sirs, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Now this is a game which I played, must have been, what, four or five years ago when I was still in high school. I played like the really early access uh, beta and I had a great time, but um, I remember it that the game wasn't that, that the game had a lot of issues, but it was still a hell of a lot of fun to, you know, build rockets and blow them up and so hopefully that core aspect is still there. But yeah, let's get started and let's build some rockets. So to build a rocket you need three things I think. If I remember correctly you need a, a cockpit, you need uh, fuel and you need boosters. Those are your essentially your first big yeah uh, how do I delete this there you go delete nice um, so let's go for a simple cockpit oh my god there you go oh good gracious it's massive uh, there's a lot more stuff than uh, was in um, the original game uh, the original game didn't even have landing gear, so landing on the moon was a feat that only the, the the heroes of old could accomplish. And that is the ultimate objective of the series, is, is to land on the moon. Now hopefully I'll be able to do that, not in this episode, but at one point I want to be able to land on the moon. Uh, so next we need a parachute. Aha! There we go, found it. Okay, parachute goes on there. Then we need to add some fuel. Let's go. Nope, that's way too small. That's still too small. Okay, that's about right. Let's add three. Rule of three works well. And then we need some boosters. What fuel is this? Um. It's, it's normal fuel. Oh, that's RCS. No, we don't. I, I don't, we don't. RCS, if I remember correctly, is for something else. No, we need. There we go. No, too small. Maybe. No, too small. No, too small. Oh, no, too big. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Eh, no, still too big. No. Too small. Oh, why can't they just come in one size? That'd be really, really useful. Not to be used as a bouncy castle. Well, that's great. Because I really wanted a bouncy castle in space. Okay, I've gone for something more uh, smaller. More smaller? That's, no. Uh, for something smaller. Now, also something else I remember is that you need decouplers. And staging. Staging definitely seems... To be important. Uh, if not, your whole rocket is just going to go everywhere. And you know, in space movies and stuff like that, you always see the the rocket flying and then kind of like decoupling in like midair. Um, so I need to do that shit. Don't know how I'm going to do it, but I suppose that's the experience, right? And that's what's fun to watch to see me fail. Okay. In. I don't know if that's it. That looks relatively normal. Okay. Okay, I want to build a really basic one to start off with. And then finally... Uh, I don't know which engine I'm going to go for. Is this liquid fuel? Yes, it is liquid fuel. Okay. No, that's way too small. How about... That's way too big. I never seem to manage to get the right ones, can I? Okay! And then... Uh, ooh. Do I need struts? Not struts, but like stuff to... There you go. Uh, and I'm gonna add... Three of them. Okay! That's a good start. I'm gonna save you as... Uh, no, cancel. No. Oh my good god, what am I doing? There you go. Save. As... 
basic. Bit. No, I'm joking. Basic one. There you go. And save. Okay. Let's go to the launch pad. say rocket science is difficult. Look at this. Now, I think I can... Oh no, I can actually move. Ah, so I can go in two dimensions. Excellent. And leave three dimensions, what am I saying? Cool! Off to a great start, although this one is already getting the wibble wobble. Yep, up, uh, yep, there it goes. So this is the Kerbal Space Program that I uh, remember most, is me and my friends just trying to control rockets. I should have stayed straight, shouldn't I? Yeah, yeah, should have stayed straight. Yeah, can we... No? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. How about we cut off the engines? Wait, how do you cut off the engines? I don't know how to reduce thrust. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, we seem to be still be going. Uh, um... I swear reducing thrust was just shift. What was it control? Ah, it's control. Oh, that, that, that was a bad time to do that, wasn't it? No, don't crash! The first of many. Anyway, I thought that was a pretty good first attempt. So let's go back to base. Uh, revert to vehicle assembly. Okay. So I think that was a pretty good start. Now, I think we should build up from here. So you get the fuck out. There you go. And... I want to have more fuel because it's always a balance if I remember correct because I read The Martian recently by Andy Weir which is by the way a fantastic book but is space flight is all about mass to thrust or something so you want fuel but you don't want too much fuel that it weighs you down which makes actually a lot of sense so I am gonna have a uh, same engine I can't remember what engine it was, but yeah, that one. And then, oh, that's cool. No, okay, stay on focus gray. A separatron? A small canister filled with what appears to be solid rocket fuel. Um, cool, that sounds pretty cool. God, some of these sound amazing. Shame I don't have to use them. Oh, okay. Yeah, these 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 are cool. Oh, I can oh. <laughs> yeah, let's put an engine facing the opposite way and see how how far it flies. Okay. Nice. I've got my layers down, my 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 um not my layers, my um uh words are not coming to me. Um my staging, that's right. And I my microphone's right in front of it, <laughs> which will not help. Um, why can't I have more stage? Ah, there we go. Okay, okay. Oh dear. No, I did not want to do that. Can I just have an extra one? Okay, so we fire, then we decouple, and then we fire again. Okay. Let's see how this works, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna save it as basic two. Save. And let's go to the launch pad. 
Okay, smoke it. Well, these are a bit wonky, but I'll guess they'll do. And thrust to the max. And why aren't they releasing? Ah. See, ladies and gentlemen, this is a problem when you don't do your staging correctly. Is that shit like this happens. Okay, uh, let's... <laughs> I'm glad I'm getting somewhere. Let's go back. Oh. Oh, dear. Hey, I finally gone. Woo! Cool. Uh, a bit tardy, but uh, okay. How far am I going to get? I swear, those boosters should be decoupled, but... Okay. Yeah, I have no more staging. Yeah, those th yeah, those should have decoupled. But um Okay. Uh space center. Yeah, leave anyway. Oh, uh yeah, it's that one, right? God, it drops to f 6 frames per second. Okay, never mind. Uh Okay, delete these, uh, delete these, okay, these I thought were decouplers, obviously I was wrong. Why am I so freaking zoomed out? I don't know how to change that. Why am I so zoomed out? Center of thrust, center of ma oh god. Yeah, this, yeah. Rotate, root. Uh, so many things, I don't know what they... Okay, okay. Ah, radial decoupler. Yeah, now that sounds good. Okay, I'm gonna put them there. And then, yeah, let's do the same thing. Um, what the music? It's pretty groovy. Okay, now let's see if they have some nose cones. Because nose cones. Ooh, no, that isn't it. Where are... No idea what that is. Oh, and I don't have a parachute either. Well, just shows that uh, none of my kerbals actually survived until I needed a parachute. Will that fit? It will! Excellent. Now, what about some nose cones? Do we have nose cones? We should have nose cones. Even the old game had nose cones. Oh, we do. Cool. If they actually went on, that would be great. Uh, can you please just, just, just go? Just, just, just go. What are you doing, game? No. You're doing everything wrong. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Uh, oh, I don't know what that does. Um, what about these? Don't know what they are, but, uh, protective shell. Ah, nose cone, nose cone, that's what I want. There you go. It's like a little boob or an eyeball, because you can't have three boobs, and you can't have three eyeballs either. That would be strange. I'm sorry to all the sirs out there with three eyeballs. But it would initially freak me out a lot, as you can imagine. Okay. Now, objective this time is to fly and actually land the Kerbals back. I don't think that's too much to ask for. Okay, now I have to make my staging as bloody right. Um, okay, that has to go f first. And uh, bu -bu okay, so the boosters and the clamps have to release and go at the same time, and then the parachute has to be uh, last, and then the yeah, the decouplers. Okay, okay. Uh, gonna call this one. Basic three. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, shit. Basic two is still in the air? <laughs> what? 
Oh, I'm so sorry, Kerbals. Um, yeah, abort it. Abort, abort. It. Okay. Great to have you back, German. Was his name? I'm not sure. Okay, here we are. So thrust to the max because you need maximum thrust. And go! Soar to the heavens, my child. Now let's see if you stay straight. That is the question. I don't mind if you don't stay straight, but at least give me some warning, okay? Okay. Go. Fly, my eagle. What speeds are we reaching? Got 270 meters per second. Damn, that's so fast. Can you imagine that seeing that pass through on the motorway? That would be freaking terrifying. How am I doing on fuel? Yeah, the solid fuel always goes out really quickly, but I think that gives you the maximum thrust. Oh, I don't know. I could be just saying absolute bullshit. Um, okay, so they're done. Those are supposed to have gone. Why are the boob rockets still on me? That's just extra mass I don't want. And the liquid fuel goes on for ages. Um, now, where is the, what is, okay, where is the time? Uh, if I remember correctly, you can accelerate time, ah, time warp, here we are, times four. Um, oh, and we even have a nice little map. And this is the Earth. Oh, sorry, Kerbin. And that is the moon. The moon and Minmus. Cool. Cool music as well. So that's my... Uh, method of descent, I guess. How much fuel do I have? Oh, and I have no more fuel. Well, I'm sorry, bro, but you're stuck up here. <laughs> well, you eventually fall down. Eventually. Okay. Cool. Ah, oh, and there's the moon. Ah, oh, that's a nice screenshot. Thumbnail right there. Ah, oh, that is cool. Am I just going to fall down to Earth now? It would seem so. Ah, oh, and just listen to that music. That is pretty, pretty cool. I always dream that one day I'll be able to see the Earth from space like this, but doubt it's going to be, well, maybe in my lifetime, maybe uh, maybe towards the end of it, for it to be uh, economically viable. But for now, we just have to admire it from the boob ship, or basic three. I prefer the boob ship, personally. You falling down yet? Is that art? Apoptosis. Add maneuver. Oh dear. Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. What does P mean? Periapsis. There are a lot of words here that I don't understand. I <laughs> uh, don't know what this is. Oh dear. Oh dear, I don't know what I'm doing, as per usual. Okay, I say we return to base. Okie smoky. Now that was a pretty first, good first attempt. Now before I end the episode, I want to build a massive one. I want to build one that really represents my manliness and it's the type of ship that I would build if I had a really small penis. So let's go new and let's choose the biggest ones. That one was a pretty big one. How about this? Oh, that's even bigger. Uh, delete that. Um, can, I, can I click you? Hello, hello. Okay, we'll just add another one. Ah, there you go. And I'm gonna move you all the way to the top. Okay, smoky. 
What is this? Okay, that's way too small. Pfft. Don't need that. Um, now I want the biggest fuel things you can give me. Nice, nice. I I like I like it when it's big. I like it when it's big. Oh, I need a I need a parachute. Although I doubt this one will be coming back to the Earth. No, for the respects of the astronauts who are putting their lives in my hands, it's the least I can do. And um, mm -hmm. very interesting. Now more more fuel. More fuel. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That can't really. Oh, I'll please. Oh, that doesn't fit. That would have been really exciting. No, that still doesn't fit. Um, all the rest are things that I don't know what they do. So, <laughs> let's stick to what we know. Can we split it? Oh wait, I think I saw one in the engines. Um, is it, how big is this? Oh, it's massive. I should have added that straight away. And the biggest engine. Oh, the mammoth. Oh, key smoky. That looks good. Um, I want to add more stuff, though. I want to add more shit. Uh, bu -bu 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 but I don't know how to add more shit. Oh, let's add wings. Oh, yeah, that's going to be cool. Okay, but are there any wings that are big enough? That's the question. Yes, there are! Excellent. Uh, double that up. Ah! Oh, look at it! So majestic. Um, okay, fuck it. Let's just go with that, and then let's add some of these. I think I'll need more than that to support this monster. There you go, and let's save it as Big Bertha. Sounds good, and save. Let's go to the launch pad. Okay, Bertha, you ready? You ready, baby? Oh shit, I didn't do my landings. Ah oh, poo, all right, let's just go for it. Maximum thrust. Launch! Go, my child! Fly in the air like the... Oh, the power shoots out. Whatever. Fly in the air like the beautiful big lady you are. I zoom in. Oh, yeah. That is... Oh, dear. Oh, oh, dear. I was about to say, that is pretty cool, but that is not cool anymore. Well, you're still going upwards, kinda, but you speed, seem to be doing the spinneroos a little bit. Yeah, so in case you guys haven't uh, seen Kerbal Space, uh, Kerbal Space Program yet, this is pretty much what it is. Just flying rockets, most of the time just blowing shit up. It's a lot of fun, actually. It's very um, cathartic, very therapeutic, you know, at the end of a stressful day, you think, oh, what am I going to do to to relieve all this stress that I've pent up. Well, let's blow some shit up. And cup boosters. Well, interestingly, when I cut the boosters, it goes down butt first. The more you know. It's gonna hit, it's gonna hit. Oh my God, my pod's still alive. It's a miracle! Yay! Whoever's in there's alive! Well, I hope there was no one in the other part of the ship. Well done, guys. Congratulations. Now, can I EVA? No. no uh, nope. That's not what I wanted. Um, something tells me I can't. Oh, EVA. There we are. Yay! Guys! Can I zoom in? Yes, I can zoom in on you. Sup! God, I would be kissing the ground, hugging my mates. Just be like, oh my god, I can't believe I survived that. And probably cursing the evil person who created such an infernal machine in the first place. But anyway, 
Thank you, sirs, for watching this episode of Kerbal Space Program. I had a lot of fun today. Uh, I thought it was a. Uh, I think this is a really cool little game. There's been a ton added since I played it last. It's mental. Um, it's gonna. I'm definitely gonna play some more because I think this is a type of game that you only really see how good it is by learning the mechanics, playing more. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I'll be playing a lot more, and hopefully I'm gonna understand how to how to fly uh, rockets a bit better. But for now. Thank you sirs for watching, please bestow a like if you enjoyed this episode, and please subscribe to become a sir today. So as always, stay cool, stay classy, and I will see you sirs in the next episode. Now that... Oh, God, I can barely commentate, the music is so good, just, just let that seep in.